What's up everybody, Dan Henry here, and I am super excited today to bring you this campaign walkthrough. All right, all right, all right. So uh, this is where we're at. This is a client of mine, LED company. Um, I'm gonna transition him from the, the landing page, click funnels framework to the lead ad with lead aisle framework. So uh, for instance, this is his landing page right now in click funnels, all right? And we're not, we're gonna get rid of this. We're not gonna use this anymore. We're not gonna use click funnels. We're just gonna use Facebook lead ads to lead out and that's it. And what that should do is bring his cost per lead down and his amount of leads should go up. Right now we're paying about $32 per lead, which for what he sells is not bad at all because he's selling something that's like 10, 15, $20,000. He gets these appointments, he closes them half the time. He's super happy with this campaign, but hey, um, if, I, if I can get him better results, why not? And gives me a chance to show you guys how to set this up, all right? So here's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna look at this campaign and I'm gonna look at his landing page and I'm gonna create the lead ad version of it. So I'm just gonna do it right here and right now and let you guys uh, watch me set it up, okay? So one thing I'm gonna do right now is I wanna keep this tab open. I really want to have another tab open. So I'm gonna open a new tab just so I can switch back and forth relatively easily. And I'm gonna create a new campaign here. Okay, and I'm gonna hit lead generation and I'm gonna call this um, free, free demo lead ads. I'm gonna hit continue. And I'll do the first ad set. Um, first ad set will be, we'll do the page messengers lookalike audience. So I'll just bring this up and I'll just copy the settings over. So I'm gonna call this page messengers look alike audience as I did right there. I'm gonna select the proper page because we don't want to select the wrong client. Boom. And it'll say, please read and accept Facebook lead ads terms before creating your ad for this page. So I'll just hit view terms. I'll hit I agree. And we don't need a catalog that's has nothing to do with what we're doing. Um, we'll scroll down and we'll get rid of this little advertisement thing here. So we want to look at our cus we want to look down at our custom audiences. So look alike, send message to page. So um, so not not our look alike audience. Uh, yeah, look like audience right there. Look like audience. Boom. And there it is right there. Bam. Okay. So that's, that's a 1% lookalike audience we've made from people that have messaged our page. Um, and we'll go back over here. Tampa, Florida, um, looks like 10 miles that I did. So we'll do, um, we'll do, oh, edit location to Tampa, Tampa, Florida. And well, you know what? Maybe we'll give some more. Should we give some more locations? That's eh, a little bit much, I think. So we'll do 25. Yeah, that's good right there. Okay, fantastic. Um, cool. All right, and we'll go back here and we'll look. So I did 30 to 65. So we'll do 30. And I believe I did English. Yep. So I'll just do English all. Damn. And we did all men and women. Okay. And then did we do any detail targeting? Nope. Um, we did select expand interest. So I'm just copying the settings that I did. Um, so I edited placements right here. And we took out Instagram. And mainly that's just because the video is um, longer than 60 seconds. So it'll just, it'll let you run the ad, but it'll give you this, like, you can't run a longer Add in 60 seconds on Instagram. I just don't want to see those notifications, so I'm going to get rid of that. Um, 20 bucks a day is fine. Lowest cost, yada, yada, yada. And then I will hit continue here. I'm going to disable my, uh, hold on one second, just to help you guys out. There we go. Now you can see the full screen. Okay, so I'm going to hit continue right here at the bottom. Bam. And now we come to our lead generation. Okay, so I'm going to hit video. And I'm gonna go ahead down here, I'm gonna select my video, which is uh, this one, yep, that one, hit select. 
And what I want to do is I want to go back here and I want to click on the add. And I want to, again, just copy everything. So I'm using the existing post here. So I actually have to find the original ad that I made, which I believe is this one, because I marked it as original. So that's good. And I'll scroll down and I'll grab all this copy right here. Hit copy. Go over here and I'll paste that in. Bam. And we also want to make sure that um, we have the proper proper thumbnail, so that's me like that, okay? So, because I want to make everything pretty much the same. So up here, I'll find that thumbnail, which is right here. Bam, okay? And here we go, okay? Um, I'll go back here. And so because this will be different because we're not doing, you know, we're, not, we're doing a, a lead ad. So there's no links. We don't need any links. Okay. So we'll just copy over the headline um, and the news feed description like so. Bam. And what do we have? We have book now. We have book now. So I'll, I'll hit book now. Mm, doesn't give me the book now option. Really, Facebook? You're just going to change stuff on me? Of course you are. So I'll just hit learn more. That's old standard. Um, yeah, okay, cool. So this is all set up here. Let's go up here and make sure. Ah, here we go. Um, so it says here's how to get the free lighting demo. Click uh, step one. Click the learn more button. I will delete that. Enter your name, email, and phone on the page. And then all this is good. Okay, fantastic. All right. And then now I need to create my lead form. So now we get to the point where we're going to create basically our landing page. And we can create it right here in Facebook. So we don't need click funnels or anything like that. We don't need to mess with pixels. So much simpler. All right, so new form. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this. I'm going to drag it over here. I'm going to copy exactly what I've done. So first thing um, is we will do uh, form type, more volume. I believe what that does is um, makes it easier to fill out. I, I, I haven't had any problem with this. I get good leads for this, um, so I haven't needed to use the higher intent one. That's just me personally. Also, I'm going to call this um, uh, LED demo form. That's what I'm going to call it. And I'll then go and I'll just go one at a time. And so it'll say headline. So um, this is my headline. I'm going to copy that and put that right here. And this will be my sub headline. And boom. Okay. I like that. Um, and then that looks done. Fantastic. Um, now it's using me as the image because this was the thumbnail. Um, I would prefer to use the actual a picture of the home. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to hit use uploaded image. And I'm going to go and take a look for my... I'm going to look for my client, which I'm the most disorganized person. <laughs> so um, let me see if I can find his folder here. Terrible. LED artistry. I know I have his folder somewhere here. Come on. It is, where is it at here? Downloads, maybe? Documents? I'm terrible, I know. Uh, LED, 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 LED. All right, I got a better idea. Here's what I'll do. I'll go here, and I'll hit background, and I'll grab this background, the one that I know is working. 
and there it is. So I'll just hit save image as. In documents, I'll put LED background, which I'll misspell terribly. And I'll go back here and I'll hit upload image. And then I'll find it. And there it is. Bam. And now, ooh, looks way better. Okay, fantastic. Looks way better. Okay. So request your free at-home lighting design and demo. We only have so many time slots. Uh, and then, so I'll, I'll end with this, and I will do um, this right here. So uh, for the headline for this, I will put, um, um, who should we book the um, demo for? Who should we book the demo for? Whoops. Ah. Hold on, come on, come on. Uh, who should we book the demo for? Okay, so now we wanna do phone number. So we hit um, view more options and we select email, full name, and phone number, okay? You can select other stuff too, but it's kind of, I mean, you could do like street address and all this, but I prefer to keep it simple to email, full name, and phone number. That way um, it's easy for them to book. But this is it, this is the landing page. Over here on the right, this is the landing page. I'm just gonna hit save real quick. Um, that way it's saved. And also privacy policy right here. Um, so it says view LED artistry's privacy policy. We really should put a privacy policy in here. So I'm just gonna look up their company. I'm sure they have a website, there it is. LED artistry, and if their website guy is any good, there should be a, should be a, um, oh, these are good pictures. I could have used these. Ugh, damn. Um, okay, privacy policy, privacy policy, privacy policy. Does he really not have a privacy policy? Are you kidding me? Uh, um, contact. Um, I guess he doesn't have a privacy policy. That's crazy. Um, here, let me, let me put, let me try it. TOS. Nope. Um, privacy. Nope. That's crazy. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably just, um, cheat and put this in and tell him he needs a privacy policy. Um, so we'll go back here. And I'll paste that in and kind of cheat. Um, and then, okay, so thank, okay, so say um, thanks, you're all set. So now, now on the thank you screen, and this is the last one out of all of these that we have to do, and you just, you know, you use these little buttons to do your thing. This is the last one. So I'll say um, success, um, one of our reps will be calling you shortly. Shortly, okay, uh, and then it says, um, please be sure to answer your phone so you don't miss your spot, okay, and that looks pretty, uh, actually, um, I'm going to call it LED. Yeah, one of our LED artists will be calling you shortly. That sounds better. And then finally, there'll be a button. Um, and so here, it'll say like view websites um, or call business. I like to put call business so that we can get some, some of these people might be inbound. So if, for instance, if I put call business, um, then it would be, uh, I, I might put, you know, something like to make sure that you get your spot um, Reserved, call us now. But uh, I would, I don't want to show my client's phone number in this video, so I'll probably do that part later. Um, uh, but for right now, I'll just grab his. Let's see, I'll grab his um, his website address, and I hate this website. It, like, takes forever to load. Um, so. Yeah, it takes forever to load. <laughs> That's funny. Um, 
All right, so I'll just take his website for now and put it there. Needs to fire his website guy. I'll tell you that real. I'll tell you that right fast. Uh, all right, so I will do view website button. Whoops, website link, and I'll do view portfolio. All right, I like it. I like it a lot. All right, so I'll hit save, and then I'll hit finish. All right, and now this is ready to go. However, we still have to get the leads to our client. So before we hit confirm, because as soon as I hit confirm, this will be a go, okay? So as soon as, as I hit confirm, this will be a go, uh, and it will be live. So what I need to do is I need to connect it to lead out. So I'm gonna go over here to lead out, and I'm gonna log in. And I'm gonna go to add integration, and I'm gonna select Corey, because Corey is the client. And now it says Zapier plus lead ad. So I'm gonna click integrate. And I am going to grab, well, I'm gonna leave this, this, this uh, window open for right now. And then I'm gonna go over to Zapier. And I'm gonna log into Zapier. And I'm gonna hit make a zap. And I'm going to type in Facebook lead ads right here. Facebook lead ads. And I'm gonna hit save and continue. And I'm gonna select my account. I'll hit test, always hit test, just to make sure, fantastic. Save and continue. I am going to select LED Artistry, wherever it's at. There it is, LED Artistry, because that's the name of the page. I'm going to select uh, right here, LED Demo Form, that's the one I created, okay? So I'm gonna select that. And I'm gonna hit continue. And now, the, so it'll do this thing, it'll say like load in samples or whatever, and you can do that if you want to test it, um, you know, but I, I know I've set this up so many times that I don't really need to do that, um, but I'll just go ahead and hit continue. Um, and now I need to choose another app, okay? So I'm going to hit webhooks by Zapier, boom. And I need to select post. So I'll hit post, save and continue. And now we go back to lead out and we grab this link right here and we pop it in like so. And we leave everything else exactly the same. We don't mess with anything. And then we hit continue. And we scroll down and we said send test to webhooks by Zapier. I hit send test and okay so there is an error it says page not found that's interesting um, let me make sure that I fully I hit control all or a command a we hit copy and let me try that one more time hold on Ends in Q. No, that should be correct. K E Q. No, that is the correct. I'm not sure why it's not working. Um, it says error. Okay. So here's what I'll do. Let me go here. I may have to hit submit on this actually. Or confirm. Let me hit confirm. That may be the problem. You may have to confirm the ad first, and then right after that, you would create this setup. Okay, boom. So let's try one more time. Mm, no, all right, so let me go back. Sometimes it's just something simple. So Facebook lead ads, continue, new lead, uh, continue, LED artistry, LED demo form. Yep, that's it. Continue. I'm going to hit. Continue, let's see, lead A, test dummy lead, okay, and hit continue, web hooks, I'm going to grab this one more time, copy, paste, ah, what am I doing, post, paste, 
I think I okay. I think I did something wrong here. Actually, delete. I think I selected the wrong step. So web hook, web hooks by Zapier. Click that. Post. Weird. Save and continue. Oh, duh. Okay. I yeah. I, I put it in here. There we go. Payload form. Everything else is good. Hit continue. There's my sample. Error. Oh, duh. You have to hit integrate. Bam. Oops. You have to name this. I feel stupid. LED. Uh, <laughs> LED. Demo form. There you go, folks. If that happens to you, make sure that you type it in and you hit integrate. <laughs> and now, and now you hit retest. And bam, it works. All right, so let that be a lesson to you that if that happens to you, it's because you first have to actually hit integrate uh, when, you, when you leave that open. That's funny. Okay, um, hit finish. LED. Demo, bam, zap is on, and we are good to go. And now I'll take my phone and I'll just log into my lead owl, and yep, it's there. Okay, awesome. So it worked. My test lead is there. Fantastic. Um, okay, so we are good to go. And so the Zapier is done, lead owl integration is done, and this has gone live. So now any leads that come to this, will get sent to my client okay bam now if i want to duplicate this um for instance over here there is a uh hold on right there um high net worth tampa so i did a, a different one that worked out really good um and it says here um demographics and i just pretty much in here I put like people that have, um, you know, have a uh, high net worth. Now, unfortunately, um, if you can see here, uh, until August 14th, 2018, uh, Facebook will have, will not have this available anymore. So they're going to get rid of this particular type of targeting, um, which kind of sucks, but there's always other targeting you can go. But since it's available now, I'll probably just go ahead and put it in. Um, so I'll just hit duplicate. Oh, before I hit duplicate, what I want to do, because this is the original ad, I'm going to type in original, and I'm going to hit uh, publish. And the reason I do that is because I want to know that this is the original uh, ad set in which I created the ad, okay? And the reason for that is because I don't want to duplicate this and keep, ad keep creating new ads. I want to create the same ad. Uh, well, here, I'll just show you. So if I hit duplicate, right? Well, first of all, if I click on this and I hit uh, manage Facebook comments, it's going to bring me to the actual page on Facebook, which is right here, okay? And so now what I'm going to do is I, I want all the comments to stay, because if I just duplicate it, it's going to create a brand new ad that's a duplicate. And so now people that comment, you know, you're going to get comments strewn across five, six, seven different ads if you do five, six, seven different ad sets. We don't want that. So we want all, them all to go to one ad, one URL on Facebook, one web address where they can all comment. So what I'll do here is I'll go back and I'll hit duplicate. And when I hit duplicate, it'll create a new uh, ad set with a new ad. So what I want to do is I'll call this one high net worth. I'll go here and I'll just adjust my targeting. I'll get rid of that. And I'll just adjust my targeting to be, you know, um, um, we'll go with uh, browse, and we'll go with demographics, and we'll go with financial, net worth, and we'll just select over 2 million. We'll select 1 million and 199. Uh, nah, nah, nah. I would say anything over. 250,000 is good, bam. And then I'll go down here to 
uh, income. And I'll do the same thing. Uh, I'll do I'll do this, 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 this. Fantastic. And then that's it. And now I'll move to the ad. And now what I'll do is instead of recreate, see how this you can see the ad, where you can edit it. Instead of recreating this ad, I want more social proof. So what I'll do is I'll go up here. Um, where is it at? Hold on one second. Uh, you know what? I just realized something. I'm pretty sure they changed this, as they always like to change stuff in Facebook. When you do a Facebook lead ad, I believe they don't let you use the same post as they used to. So that sucks. But hey, we're still going to get plenty of leads. So that's fine. Um, okay, so we can't do that when we use lead ads. So that's a slight, um, slight bummer, but the bottom line is I've done, I've switched this over on other, uh, on other clients and, and we still get more leads for less cost. So it doesn't matter. Okay, great. So then I'll just hit publish. And we will have these two ads live for my client. And it will all go to his lead out. And that's it. Bam. Uh, so right now, um, with lead out, you do have to integrate using Zapier. Um, shortly in the future, we will have a direct integration. So we don't even have to do this part. And as you can see, I had that little mess up here where um, I was like, wow, what do I got to do? And then it was just because I didn't press that button. So that'll all become way easier when we have our direct integration. Um, but for now, this is how you have to set it up. So, uh, uh, you know, still less time than setting up uh, funnels and landing pages and all that. And you're going to get way better results usually with this type of ad. Okay. All right. So um, that's it for this walkthrough. And I'll see you guys uh, in the next lesson.